Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my devlog. Uh, in the last part, you'll remember I made this. Um, I was pretty happy with it. Um, but I thought, well, I was going to change the clouds, but then I tried to change the clouds, and it just wasn't working. Um, I figured this is probably the best I'm going to get with the clouds. Maybe I'll add some extra shading to them uh, eventually, but for now, I think they're good enough. Um, what I really didn't like was that there was a lot of empty space used up in here. Um, and I accidentally burnt this, but it doesn't matter because I added something. Um, you might have already been able to tell over here or in the thumbnail. It's probably in the thumbnail. Uh, but I kind of wanted to do a big reveal. I added some trees. Um, I think it looks a lot nicer with trees. It uses up the empty space that was just the sky. Um, and it kind of adds an extra layer of kind of background, kind of foreground, like mid-ground um, to the picture. Um, I don't know how I ended up burning this part. I think I was trying to burn the trees for shading, um, and I was just on the wrong layer. I just didn't realize it. Um, but yeah, that's what I added for this. And I'm thinking the first level, more or less, is just going to start off like this. And I'll probably just extend it, extend the style and everything to the right a bunch. Uh, we'll probably start off in inside the house, but the actual level will be... Um, out here. How I'm gonna do it, uh, I don't know if I've really explained it yet or not. Uh, there's gonna be ten worlds, and each world's gonna have five levels. Um, so this will be like a level, and then as you walk to the right, it, the, the camera will pan to the right with the character. Um, and then there'll be a lot more. There'll be, uh, I don't know about this level, but there'll be other houses and buildings and stuff. You can walk in down here. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to add a door. Um, I didn't know if I wanted a door here or not, but thinking about the game and uh, at least the first, very first part of the story, I do want a door here, so eventually I'll add, add a door. Um, I might not add a door to this because this is just kind of art. Um, I'm thinking of printing this off and maybe hanging it up somewhere, uh, give me inspiration and whatnot. Um, but yeah, the first. Like, cutscene's gonna need a door here. Um, I'll, I'm sure I'll explain that later. Um, so I worked on that. I also did some other stuff. Uh, I, I mean, I'm new to multi-threading in Java. Um, and so I'm trying to learn the best way to... Uh, not really create threads, because I can create a thread, but utilize threads to my advantage. Um, just because... I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I looked outside the window and there's a truck. I don't know what it's doing. Um, oh yeah, threads. Um, I need to learn how to utilize threads in the best way uh, to match what I want uh, their purpose to be in the game. Um, I don't know if I want a thread uh, specifically for updating the player, and then another one for updating the camera, and then another one for updating other things. I don't know. Um, so I'm still kind of going through that in my head. I haven't really implemented much code. Um, I did start with the code a little bit, but there's not anything worth showing you guys, just basic drivers and stuff. Um, so there's that. Um, I, I wrote out um, how I'm going to do cutscenes on a piece of paper, and I'm still kind of experimenting with threads. I might uh, have a thread or multiple threads devoted to cutscenes, um, but I'm still not sure. I'm still trying to figure all that out. Um, I can definitely do it without threads. I have the uh, pipeline drawn out for doing it without threads, um, but threading might be a better uh, alternative. Uh, to doing the cutscenes, but we'll see. Um, I'll explain how I'm doing cutscenes when I actually implement it into the code, because it's possible what I have on paper won't even work. Um, I, I think it will work, uh, just based on past experiences. Um, I think it's going to work. Basically, I'm going to have the uh, game had two modes, at least two modes, one for manually controlling the player and one for being in a cutscene. Obviously, you don't want to control the player while you're in a cutscene, because he's supposed to be doing stuff on his own. Um, and while it's in cutscene mode, it's basically just gonna follow a sequence of steps. Um, like this person walks, or the door opens, this person walks in, this person says hi, blah blah blah. Um, so I still need to work a whole lot on that, especially implementing it into the code. 
Um, I'm just getting started with all that. Um, what else did I do? And I think that was it. Um, yeah, cutscenes and multi-threading was pretty much all I worked on this week, except for the trees. Um, so definitely let me know what you think of the trees in the comments. Uh, I definitely like them. I think the picture looks a lot better with them. Um, if you guys uh, have any suggestions about multi-threading, I haven't really... Um, I'm watching a tutorial on multi-threading right now. Um, and... Uh, lost my train of thought again. That truck just left. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm watching a tutorial on multi-threading right now. And... Um, I haven't really researched multi-threading in video games, so I'll probably do that, see how other people do it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, def definitely let me know in the comments. Um, I'll be happy to read through them and compare your guys' ideas with my ideas and the other ideas I find online. Um, and then I'll be able to pick which one, which way of doing things is best for the game. Um, I don't plan on the game being very CPU or GPU intensive. Um, especially not uh, GPU intensive. I, th the only problem I have is getting it to run at 30 frames per second. I mean, I think it will uh, pretty easily, but I'm just kind of worried if I don't use the right method, it might slow it down a whole lot um, with synchronized blocks and making sure I update everything before it gets rendered to the screen. Um, all that. Um, I'm just kind of worried that it won't be 30 frames a second, and then I'll have to scrap everything and redo it. But I think I think it will turn out okay. Uh, it might even reach 60 frames a second. I'm just worried about doing 60 frames a second because then um, there will be some systems that won't be able to run it at 60 frames, um, and then I'll have to compensate for that. So I'm thinking about just doing it at 30 frames a second uh, with no option to change it, just because that's you know this is my first game and. Uh, there's a lot more involved when you're switching FPS's um, versus just sticking to one um, and dropping frames when necessary. Um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it uh, for this week. Definitely come back to uh, next week uh, for more. I don't know what I'm going to be working on next week. Probably more multi-threading. I might have more code implemented that I'll be able to show you guys. I don't know. Um, this is pretty much done, this picture. Uh, I might work more on characters, because I'm not happy with the character I have right now. Um, I don't even know if his name's going to end up being Jerry. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I have at least four main characters in mind, as well as one antagonist. Um, well, one main antagonist and then some other uh, smaller ones. Um, so I might be doing uh, some more art for the characters um, and multi-threading. That's pretty much going to be next week. So I'll be able to show you guys the um, artwork that I do, but I obviously won't be able to show you the knowledge that I learned about multi-threading. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Uh, and I'll see you next time.